I do think that looking at things that we should talk about, changing your mind. Not in terms of like, not in terms of when should you change your mind, but how we view people who, other people who change their mind. Something I've been really thinking about a lot lately, and I think about it quite a bit with, with Gary actually, which is what brought it up. But one of the differences I see with how you how you will answer a question and how Gary will answer a question is in the question. Mm -hmm. The questions that you're asked, I feel are, are oftentimes deeply personal and entirely subjective to just that person, mm -hmm. like as a coach. Mm -hmm. But thinking about a lot of Gary's content, the questions that he's asked are very general. And he speaks in definitives. And I'm actually, I'm like kind of going back now to the times where people have said that they feel that I have slapped them in the face mm -hmm. because I too speak in definitives. So Until tell me a little bit more, like speaking in definitives. What exactly do you mean by that? I, so I feel like Gary is this way. I feel that I am this way. And I think Tony is not this way. Mm -hmm. So I speak and in a belief that I have, I will be 100% into that belief or that theory or that idea until something better arises. Okay. And I will forget that that belief even existed. <laughs> and I will completely change direction. As long as it's better. Mm -hmm. But I will be 100% about a belief and then if somebody presents contradictory evidence or somebody forces me to think differently or somebody um, asks the right series of questions in order to make me think, oh, wait, I might be wrong here. Mm -hmm. I'll really think about it, wonder if it's correct. And if I deem that I was not correct, take on whatever that new belief or that new theory is and go full steam ahead with that one. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the feedback that I get and I wonder if it's sort of how you feel too, because I speak in that definitive. Mm -hmm. It's either yes or it's no, or it's 100 or it's zero, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to change my mind. Okay. Leaves people to think that I've slapped them in the face, even if I think I'm at 100 with something, they're forcing me to think a different way and I'll ask five questions to see if they're right. Mm -hmm. But when I do change my mind, then people wonder what I believe in. Or what are the things that I'm not willing to change my mind on? Is there anything that I'm not willing to change my mind on? Do I have core principles mm -hmm. or something like that? And so I really think that there's something interesting to how to handle when someone else changes their mind because I also know when, other, when I think that I've understood somebody to a fairly fundamental level and then they change their mind on something that I thought was fundamental, the next question I ask is, do I really know this person? Right. Well, that goes back to our initial comment about you never really know somebody. Yeah. Thanks again for joining us today. If you'd like to connect with us on social media, you can find Anna Marie at Mindfully Anna Marie. You can find myself at Emily VDW, and you can find Evan at underscore Evan Ryan. We'll talk to you next week.